right, what's up everyone? So we're here at IBS 2024 and I stopped by the Sashco booth because uh, if you know me already, I love Sashco and I love Big Stretch. Uh, I love all your products. But I've got Nathan here and we're going to uh, look at Exacticolor. So uh, Exacticolor is uh, probably one of the most, uh, I'd say, like breakthrough products ever because I can I can just take my caulk and I can make it whatever I need it to be. And That's it's right. been a game changer for nice, clean, crisp edges. I'm not trying to cut in and do all kinds of goofy stuff. So I really like exact, exact color. So tell me a little bit about what you'd like to talk about when it comes to this ceiling. Sure, sure. So I'll show you how it works. You already know this, right? right? For sure, but, but, but for course. the folks at home, right? So. We purposefully leave some empty space in the tube here so that you can take this syringe and you can actually add whatever paint you want into it, as long as it's water-based, right? Yep. If it's oil-based, it'll be like salad dressing. It won't go in, right? It won't get a good mix. So you put your paint in, there's a little cap, you put that on and you can actually shake it by hand. What, what, what's <laughs> funny about the cap? <coughs> so. <laughs> got me laughing. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna speak from from knowledge. All right. Okay. So when you take when you take the when you take it, and you're ready to add paint, make sure you knock all the product down to the bottom before you squeeze the paint in. And then always remember the cap because I put I put this nozzle on the first time. Yeah, that's not. And was work. like shaking it, and it's got a tip on the. It's not it's not closed on the end. It already it's has an open tip. Out the top. So I'm like in the in the house like this, and I'm like, why is everything flying everywhere? So yes, remember the remember the cap. Use the cap. Yeah, <laughs> that's helpful. And and that is a great piece of advice. So you know you'll you'll watch the paint actually work its way down into the caulking. You'll pull the cap off. And sometimes you do have a little air bubble, yeah. right? You need to add the thickener next, but just a little tap a couple of times will usually get that air bubble to pop such that you can add the thickener, right? So put the thickener in, cap back on, shake it one more time, and then you'll end up uh, with the perfect color match. You need to wait about 30 minutes for it to fully body up once you put the, the thickener in. And uh, you want to show us how it works? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so good to meet you. Let's see how good of a caulking job I'm, I'm we doing We appreciate here. it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna spell out Durbin here. I'm gonna make it easy on myself. And just like any water-based paint, this starts out a little light, and right. then it dries down, and it'll darken up. Uh, to, to be the, the right color that you're going for. I usually am known for my steady hand, but this makes it hard. It's a different angle than you're usually doing, isn't it? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> usually you're just going along the seam and you're like, right. yeah, buddy, I'm done. I did but, the easy stuff. I did all the corners on this. Yeah, and it looks really good. Now, now the trick is here how to remember to spell my last name. When I'm, uh, and I really like these caulk guns. They're these are the Cox caulk guns, aren't they? So these so guns we'll, are from Albion. Oh, okay. We don't actually make any caulking guns ourselves, but we use a whole bunch of them, right? Yeah. And uh, I like a good, you know, ten to one, twelve to one the, ratio. The twenty-six to ones are are tough because you'll usually blow a tube in no time. All right. I, I don't like how slow they push out product too. I mean, right. if it's if it's 20 degrees outside, I can understand needing a 26 to one, but yeah. otherwise I'm, I'm using this. Yeah, and then if it's tough at all, you just blow the tube out because it's got so much force and it's coming out so so slow. Yeah. Man, this, so yeah, really cool, really good color match already. Um, and so you can mix stains, you can mix metallic stuff. That, that, that's what's so cool about the product is it's tenable at anything you're doing. It, it, it is, it, it gives you options, right? So not only can you get the color you need, but it also kind of solves the inventory problem, right? Like let's say you were gonna get, you know, a dark brown, right? Something you don't use very often. Right. You might need to buy 10 tubes when you think you only need eight because you don't want to go back to the store, right? right? It's even worse if you go the other end. You buy eight, you need nine, now you have to go back to the store to yeah. get another one, right? So this, if you have a couple of cases in the truck, 
you need one extra tube, you just mix one extra tube, right? Yeah. If you don't need extra, you, all the all the rest of it is good for the next job, right? So yeah. it's there's quite a few advantages of, of using exact color. If you need white, just use big stretch, right? Because <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is more expensive. Um, for sure. But but when you need something custom, it's hard to beat. For sure. And I'm a, I'm that classic overbuyer too. I just buy. It. I'm like, yeah, we're gonna use it again. So I've got you know black and dark brown and wood tone and I'm like, oh my goodness, I have overbuy like crazy. But just because I don't want to run back to the store. So good good point there. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about uh, that's come up before is how to clean big stretch. What do what do you guys as a manufacturer recommend on on what to use to clean big stretch? Just soap and water. Okay. Yeah, big stretch is water based. Uh, so is exact color. If you're using our Lexel or through the roof, those are solvent based. So you'd want to use like a mineral spirits on your tools, uh, a citrus cleaner for your hands. But yeah, on big stretch or exact color, soap and water cleanup. Okay. I, I love using crocodile wipes as well. The Nuvet crocodile wipes from Home Depot. Right on. Game changer. Yeah. We just go through them like crazy, like tissue paper. <laughs> um, well, I, I guess I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, I love all of Sashko's products. I've used every single one in every, all kinds of use cases. Um, I, I think that uh, Lexel is, is like bonds to literally anything I need it to. It'll stick to even wet stuff. It, it's, it's crazy how good it works. So I'm sure I use it in the wrong case all the way around just because I'm a remodeling contractor. <laughs> and a lot of the times remodelers are just doing all kinds of wacky off the wall stuff to get it done. We, we love remodelers because remodelers can use every single one of our products. Yeah. Right? Uh, builders might only use three or four, you know, signing guys might only use one or two. We have a special place in our heart for remodelers. Aww. <laughs> Aww, thanks Nathan. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, if you're looking for more content on the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. I'll link you guys on uh, everything. The Sounds website, awesome. social media, all that stuff. Thanks Nathan for the time. Appreciate it. And uh, it was a pleasure meeting you, bud. Likewise. <laughs>